Back to Bob's Barn Workshop. Here we are, fans and friends. We are actually at the lake. At the Lake Barn, which I built in 2007. Beautiful, warm, sunny day today. I have one more project I need to get done before I go home today. Um, this fluorescent light has original tubes in it. Some of them aren't working. It buzzes, it flickers. It's junk. So what we're going to do is convert it to LED, like I did the lights in here, which I may not have done a video on. But I had the same light fixtures, um, and I converted them to LED. Now, I must have left the ballast covers in there, but the ballasts aren't in there. And as you can see, no hum, no flicker, just nice light. And uh, I might be able to use the same bases. I don't know. We'll see. I might. I just have to rewire them. So I have new bases here somewhere, and I got a lot of wire nuts. I've got pliers. Strippers. Let's go see what we got. Remember, the color code will probably... Oh, here they are. These are the replacement sockets. Now, remember, the color code might be not black and white, but the white is the neutral side. And the black is the hot side, and only one end of these tubes needs high voltage, or needs 120 volts. So let's go see our tubes. Sorry, I'm going back and forth here. Here's the box of tubes. I'm guessing the end... Here it says AC input. So the other ends will be dead. So we only have to rewire one end. The other end down there will just be a holder. This end needs to be fed AC. So we'll take this guy with us. Anyway, so let me get this fixture torn down. I'll pull those tubes out. The old tubes. And figure out where the feed's coming in. I bet you the feed's at this end. Yeah. Because there's the light switch. I don't think I'd have run it to the other end. So the hot end is going to be this end of the light fixture. Alright. A word of caution, folks. If you're not confident working around household voltages like 120 volts, don't do it. I've had many years of experience. So this light is on a switch. Things might get a little dark. Oh no, she's... This camera has a good ability to uh, white correct or whatever. So I need to take these guys out. When I put these in, these are the green tubes that be more energy efficient, blah, blah, blah. put these out of the way. All right, those are safely put in the corner somewhere. So again, we don't have to worry about this end at all. These are just placeholders for the ends of the tubes. These uh, ballast covers, you just squeeze them so they clear the tab. Come on. And you can see the mess that's in there, but I might not even mess with it. Okay. Here's my hot wires coming in, black and white of course. 
I got lots of black and white wire on these other ballasts I could uh, change these out. Let's see what we got. Gee, somebody was an electrician, must have known how to tighten these wires up. Okay, so there's our hot wires. The fixture, as you can see, has a ground wire to it. Not to a mounting wire, not to a mounting, but a separate bolt through the, the metal. And let's see what we got here. This pulls out and down, so that makes it real easy. <sighs> Should we just change them all? Let's see if we can change these. That guy just slid out. If we can change them all, the better. in there. If I remember right, they didn't fit in right on the other end. They were supposed to sort of snap in like that. How about if I push them in like this? That hits that. I'm going to take, I think I'm just going to file these off. They'll be getting confused about which is a neutral and which one's a hot, right? Let's see what the AC input of this looks like. It says AC input. Of course, being AC it doesn't really matter what one's neutral and which one is white, actually. So I could leave these and not that. That's got black and black. So we got black, so we need to get one black, one red from each end, and one blue. And uh, let's see if we can do anything with this. I know I'm talking to myself, but uh, okay, we're just going to knit this stuff off for now. We can work on wiring most of it up right down here. Oh, I missed the right one. It's okay. Get out of the way. <coughs> so as I said, oops, don't break the dang sockets. They just slide in like that. Nothing attaches them, unfortunately. But what I was saying, if you look at this one, here, let's get this down here where we can see. This one has four wires in it, but if I pull and spin, I might be able to get that out of there. Yeah, it's coming. Okay, one's out. And I'm going to do the same thing with the other skinny one. I'm spinning it and pulling outward. There, see? Perfect. Now, all we need is one black from each end. One blue and one red. So, if these guys are long enough to get a wire nut on, which they are, I'm going to patch a, oh, that guy's too thick, I'm just going to use a black and white wires out of the fixtures here, because these draw very, very little current, they don't need a lot of juice. Okay. So this is going to be a tight fit, or well, maybe it's going to be too tight. Yeah, it's going to be too tight. 
So, what do I do? I know exactly what I have to do. I need the, the long black and white wire off the other one. We're going to strip them and pull these out of the sockets and replace the uh, wires in these with a black and a white. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to whirly gig it out. That one broke off. Come on, don't break. He walked out. So now we'll just take the longer black and whites. Now those just push in. So I got to strip these about three eighths of an inch at the most. And we just push them back in. One, two. Okay, now we got long black and white wires. We're going to leave these colored wrong. That's okay. I don't care. I know what I'm doing. Come on. Come on, baby. That one broke off, but that's okay. We still have. You know what? I'm going to cheat this, I think. I'm going to. I'm going to do this. I'm going to jump her these together. Eh, there's no need to do that. Never mind. I thought I could jump them together and just uh, have one pair of wires coming out of that, but it just isn't really any significant uh, advantage to do so. We'll just put four wires in the wire now instead of three. Okay, there's those black wires. I'm talking to myself. You're talking to yourself, Bob. Blacks and whites, here we go. How did I do the other one? I'm going to do this one the same, aren't I? So black was on the left. White was on the right. All right, see, they're in there good, too. So here we just have to worry about getting one red and one white out, or one red and one blue for neutrals. So I'll drop these back in. And I'll try to bring the lefts out as neutrals and the rights out as you know, so I'll bring this blue out for a neutral. And this red out for a neutral. So we'll make these guys the same length to make it easier to strip and uh, wire nut them. And I'll bring this neutral out to be the same length as those. And we'll bring this neutral out. Very good, mister. Oh, Misa. Hey, somebody turn on that light. Oh, never mind. So I'm going to strip these about three quarters of an inch. And we'll give them a limb twist here. Get them started together. We have here a failure to communicate. I got my good old dikes right here. I'm just twisting these together so we know what they are. All right, you following along here? I hope so. Now the other reds and blues are hot.
Simple, right? You got one hot wire and one neutral to each socket. That's all that matters on this conversion. And I'll take my big lineman's pliers and push all those wires so that they're buttoned together. Square. And we'll give them that twist. What do you think? Alright. Now, we just have to lay this. Back up in the fixture. Uh, hook, sorry, that hooks into that side and just pushes into this side. And that's all that holds that. Just pressure against the back. And these guys. I'm just going to cut them off. I'll just leave the ballasts in there because I don't care what happens to them. Maybe I'll take this thin wire home because I do a lot of hobby at home. Need some thin wire. Alright, so everything's disconnected there because nothing, that other end, as I said, is just a placeholder. It doesn't do anything. I'm going to use fresh wire nuts. I'm probably going to use. I'm just going to try to sister it together and see how that works. If I don't like the way it feels, I'll take it back off. I usually like to twist all the wires together, but this might be just fine. And I think it is. It's biting very good. All right. Push that down out of the way. I think this has to back up a little bit too. Don't push your wires against anything sharp, of course, because then you'll have a big bang and you'll know where the short is real quick. This wire knot is twisting those wires together anyway as I put it on. Alright, I don't want to twist far enough that it... them off either. Okay. Perfect, eh? Hey, listen to me. I'm from Canada. Get them hooked under the opposing tabs. three more bulbs. All right now, where am I? These bulbs say AC input and each end has a protective cover. So we're going to pull them off. Remember these ends are nothing but holders. So now Yeah, we're going to go back up. It's a little hot today. Okay, this is the AC end. And, uh, we'll see if we can get these babies in there. Make sure your power is off. You'll feel them kind of spring in when they fall into the little detents. There's little spring-loaded fingers up in here in these connectors. So you'll feel them pop when they go together. And sometimes you got to push the, the opposing uh, tube holder apart so you can get it up in there. Oops, don't put it upside down like I just did. 
we're going to wait until we get all four of them before we test. I'm pretty confident it may work. As I said, I had my own electrical contracting company through most of the 70s, 74 through 79 with a partner. It was a, our own corporation even. A small corporation, of course. Just And there we go, guys. A super bright, simple to install. Latcher frame. The diffuser is nice. It really dissipates the light around. But there you go, guys and gals. One light converted. So don't forget, sorry I'm sweating a bit, tune into Bob's Barn Workshop for lots of woodworking tips, automotive tips, electrical stuff. I'm going to even do a little electronics. Uh, outboard motor repair. I did a couple of uh, videos on my uh, outboard motor adding electric start and charging coils to it. So. Uh, an outboard that didn't have it, but it actually had all the bolt holes in the frame for it. I just had to buy the parts and put them in. So stay tuned. God bless. Take care. Well, hopefully we'll see you again sometime soon. I got a couple of videos coming up too for finishing the uh, drawer installation at the lake because that's where here this week I finished that. I didn't have say I can't compile the videos here. I have to wait till I get home. That's why we're we're behind the times a little bit, but we'll get those done. So God bless, take care, and I hope everybody had a great 4th of July. God bless America.